In this video, we're going to convert from Cartesian form, from Cartesian form into its uh, parametric form. So let's say you've got a straight line given by this equation, and uh, our aim is to convert this into a parametric form. So imagine t, t equals zero to be here. You want to somehow create the, the parametric equations in such a way that when t equals zero, it will jump to here. And then, uh, and then when, when t equals one, when t equals one, uh, you want to somehow create it in such a way that it will jump to here. Um, when t equals 2, you want to somehow create the equations where it will jump from here to here. So if, um, if, you, let, if you let x equals t, then, then, then to get the effect when t equals, let's say, let's say 3 here, it will jump to here. Well, that, that would be you putting the t into this thing here, into this thing here. So y equals 10 minus 10 over 7t. So these are your parametric equations. These equations will generate this line. Um, so, so when t equals a negative number, you're actually going in this direction. And by the, by the way, there are lots of ways of, of, um, of, ge uh, of, of generating these parametric equations for, for this line. So there are lots, there, there, there will be more than one answer. Okay, so this is just the easiest way. Okay, here's another example. Let's say you've got this uh, quadratic. Um, well, if, if you let t, let, let's say when time equals 1 here, you want to jump to here. Let, let's say when this is when time equals 2, you want to jump to here. When time equals negative 1, then, then, then you want to jump to here and so on. Or just set x to be t, and then, and then now put t into here, put t into here. That will then give you this. So these will be your parametric equations. These equations will generate this graph. And get yourself a graph plotter and, and plot this, um, and then it will generate this quadratic. So here's another example. Hang on. So let's let's say um, let's say you've been given this this equation here. This equation here will generate this graph. So now to um, to, to to generate your parametric equations, you don't always have to have x equals t. You can you can have y equals t. So let, let's start out just y being equal to t. So, um, so lo looking at this, you, well remember parametric equations will be x equals something in, in the form of t uh, and then uh, y equals something involving t. Uh, we, we've done this part which is this bit here. Now we need x uh, to be something in the form of t involving t. So, um, so starting from here, rearrange this to make x a subject. So add y squared to both sides, that will then give you this. And then you want to get x on its own, so divide both sides by, by 4, that will then give you this. Remember, we've done y equals something involving t, which is this bit here. Now we need x, in, uh, something involving t. So now we've got x equals, now that we've got x equals this thing here, remember, y, y equals t, so we can put t into here. So, uh, so that would then give us that would then give us this. So now we've got our, our param parametric equations: y equals t and uh, x equals this thing here involving t. The the point here is that you don't always have to start out with y uh, with x equals t. You can start out with y equals t, which we've done here, and then work backwards to get this. Okay.